the Discovery Awards, our first inductee into the Hall of Fame. George Baker, we used to refer to him as Mr. Tidal Power, and I think a lot of people knew him as that. He was an engineer, but he had such an enormous interest in all aspects of the natural world as well as the engineered world, if you like. He was clearly um, fascinated by all aspects of energy. One, how do you get that energy? And the second part of it would be, how do you avoid the negative consequences of energy in terms of environmental issues? His greatest contribution, I think, was when he was chairman of the Tidal Power Review Board, was to insist that we had to deal or address the environmental implications up front before we'd actually finalize design of the engineering. The starting point is that we could not build a large-scale tidal power development unless it offered overall benefits to society. During the 1970s and 80s, he was the one that sort of drove the initiative to look at tidal power again after some 70 years. He was the architect of bringing, if you like, together all of the different potential stakeholders, the scientists as well as the engineers and the financial people. He was a very, an iconic and extremely capable and intelligent person, one of the best I've known. Shortly before he died, he, he put some of his thoughts into a, a book form, and he t tells the story of as a young boy being on a boat coming home from Bermuda with his mother and watching the waves, thinking at that time that he was in awe of the power of the ocean, and I don't think that ever left him. <laughs>